Hi, I'm Jared Hingham, and today I will be discussing the topic of videoing depositions in standard definition versus high definition. And hopefully this will help answer those questions my colleagues and I have been hearing throughout the legal industry. We will briefly examine the history of professional video cameras, advancements in tape formats, as well as picture quality, and then I'll give some pros and cons to help anyone viewing this video decide whether high definition or standard definition is the most optimal choice when recording a deposition or other type of video for use in trial. Videotaping depositions and preserving testimony for use in trial has been taking place since the 1970s. The problem with these videos from the 70s, 80s, and even the 90s is the quality tends to decrease drastically year after year. This was of course due to the type of media available and being used at that time. This doesn't mean a video that's 10 or 20 years old won't play, but I can almost guarantee that it won't look or sound good. You see, in the past, videographers had a handful of media formats to select from, and all were created out of some type of magnetic tape stock. Advancements in video deposition technology are changing rapidly and have immensely improved the quality of professional video cameras and media. Most professional cameras have changed from being oversized and heavy to more compact and portable, while recording media has changed from magnetic tape to memory cards and hard drives. With these advancements, we've seen a significant change from lower quality standard definition videos to crisp, high definition videos. And with this, we've seen the introduction of three HD classes of cameras. Consumer HD, Prosumer HD, and Broadcast Quality HD. If you would like to know more about the different classes of HD cameras available, check out the article which coincides with this video. The HD cameras are great, but with HD, there's also increased file sizes and storage problems. Now, storage space has always been an issue in the past and continues to be a problem now. However, in the past, it was storage boxes and secure storage facilities for archiving old deposition videos. Now, it is mostly comprised of computer hard drives and rack-mounted servers. And to put things into perspective with regards to digital media and the massive storage space it can take up, one hour of a highly compressed standard definition video converted to MPEG-1 format roughly needs one gigabyte of file space. That same one hour of recorded video at high definition will need around 10 gigabytes of file space. So you can see how easily and quickly the costs associated with shooting and saving high-definition video to hard drives or servers can get expensive. However, if you are planning to play video during your next trial, having HD quality video will ensure that the picture doesn't distort or pixelate once it's projected on a 100 or 200 inch screen for the jury to watch. Knowing this, it is only natural that using premium quality video in the courtroom to represent deponents as they deserve to be represented should be the only choice. In conclusion, HD video has many benefits and can help take your presentation to the next level. Please consider using HD for your upcoming depositions and trial presentations. Tune into our next blog to understand the importance of synchronizing a transcript of video and how it can make a major difference in the courtroom. Be sure to stay connected with us on all our social networking websites for the latest and greatest in insider tips directly from the professionals. I am Jared Hingham, and this has been an installment of HG in HD.